Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the very exciting step of adding our first Windows workstation to our Synology domain controller. Now, a few notes uh, that you'll want to think about is Windows Home cannot be joined to a domain. So to manage the workstations properly, it cannot be home. It's got to be pro, uh, enterprise, or education, right? It can't be that home version. So that's one thing that you, you definitely have to think about. Also, think about back to the last video, how we prepped our network, right? So our DNS is pointing towards our Synology, and we're going to hop into this. So there are going to be uh, recorded instructions of, or uh, not recorded instructions, this is recorded, but there's going to be a PDF of this uh, down below. So you're going to remember, uh, you're going to need your administrator uh, username and password. So I hope that you uh, remember that as you are following along. Also, uh, I did put a training link. Uh, training class is going to be next Friday. It's a three hours in the weeds advanced configuration of this. Uh, so that is down below. If you'd like to sign up, you can go sign up right now and get your seat uh, reserved. So what I've got uh, right here is I have a uh, Windows 10 VM, right? So we're going to join this Windows 10 VM to our domain, and then we, uh, in the next video, are going to manage that domain using Windows 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Start, and I'm going to walk you through this very simply. There's all kinds of keyboard shortcuts and things like that, but we're going to go through this like, uh, you know, clicking step by step. So we're going to click on start. We're going to go to settings. We are going to go to system. We are going to scroll down to about. Then we are going to scroll down to rename this PC advanced. Now that's going to bring up the computer name. Now, I typically use computer names that mean something, right? And we'll usually put like the year in or the month in the year um, that the PC was acquired, just so we can, when we're looking at the, the asset ID, the computer name, we get an idea how old it is. We're not going to change that here. We're going to use the default install. So I'm going to click change. And this is going to allow me to join this to the domain. So I'm going to put willyhow.net because that was the domain that we selected. I'm going to click OK. Now what's going to happen is it's going to come up and it's going to prompt me for credentials from the domain to add this to the domain. A uh, point of note here is that by default, and we're going to change this um, in, in the class when we go through that, is that by default, uh, any Windows domain user can actually add <laughs> workstations to the domain, which is not good. But what we're going to do is I have my default administrator account. And we are going to enter those credentials. It is now negotiating with the domain. And you can see where it says, welcome to the willyhow.net domain. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to tell us we've got to reboot. So we're going to click OK again. We're going to click Close. Do we want to restart now or later? We're going to go ahead and click restart now. We're going to let this restart and then we're going to log in as administrator. So while we're on that topic, uh, administrator in Windows is like root in Linux. It is the most powerful account that there is. So you should not be logging into it on the daily. Your domain admin that you're going to manage the domain uh, from, you should have a separate account for all kinds of reasons, for logging and auditing and accountability and all those different things. I'm just going to show you real quick that we can actually log into the domain. Now this machine's a little slow. I only gave it two gigs of RAM, um, but it looks like it's loading okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click other user. And you can see right here where it says sign into Willie Howe. Since this is a domain computer now, domain, domain join computer, uh, that is where it's gonna pull the default user from when we type this in, right? So it's gonna look for this user. And then if you want to sign into another domain, you could specify that by putting the domain backslash in front of the user. But we're just going to log in as administrator. And you can see it actually switched it over. So I am going to put uh, Willie Howe before this. 
and we're going to put in my super secret password. And now you can see we are authenticating against the domain and this is going to load. And that's it. That's, this is the first step into getting your machines onto the domain. In the class that I'm teaching, we're actually got a couple tools where we're going to be able to convert machines from one domain to another or from standalone to domain and actually keep all of the desktop exactly the way it is for the users, not creating a new desktop and then copying the stuff. It actually keeps everything the way it is. So that's something that I'm really excited about uh, going over in the class. But you can see we're logging in here. So that's that's it. If you've got questions about this process, let me know down below. Do you want to see a Mac? Do you want to see a Linux machine? Let me know down in the comments. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up and uh, comment, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And you can support the channel by using our clearly marked affiliate links below. Uh, they're down there with the instructions for this, the PDF. Um, our Patreon link is below. And of course, if you need IT consulting because you think this is cool, but you'd like us to handle it for you or anything else you've got with voice over IP, security, networking, storage, all those things, go to willyhow.com, click hire us, contact us, fill that form out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.